Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Rome 2 Siege action. We got a 2v2 for you here. This one's one of my own actually. Uh, teamed up with Emperor Kandikatsu quite a while ago actually. This has been sitting in, uh, well, not my drafts, but uh, in my replay files. And I just never got around to it. Um, so I don't know exactly quite what happens, but here we are. Uh, so, we'll go over the players on the field of battle, quickly go over army comps, and then we'll get right into it. Uh, so, we have myself playing as Carthage, Emperor Kandikatsu playing as Bactria, and then defending, we have Jonathan the Ice Cream Man playing as Macedon, and, uh, Kinkle Cook? Kinkle Cook playing as Seleucid. Now, one thing I want you guys to note, we did not realize until uh, maybe five minutes into this match, uh, Scorpion Towers. Scorpion Towers. So, yeah, very cool. Very, very cool stuff. Very cool and awesome. Uh, when I tell you that this is the third time that this has happened to us, I'm not, I'm not kidding. This is like, I, it just, it seems like every time that we, and this is like random, like I was online playing and he jumped in and it was like, oh shit, like let's play. Like, all right, yeah, cool. Let's do this. Uh, and then yeah, Scorpion Tower. So this is the third time that we've randomly played together and uh, on attacking and we've had to deal with Scorpion Towers. So what are you going to do? All right, we'll go over the army comps and then we'll start. Uh, so we'll start with Carthage, myself. We, I brought a general's bodyguard just to appease Emperor Kandikatsu. <laughs> he doesn't like Noble Cap, uh, at least Noble Cap Gen. Uh, I also brought Libyan Peltist and then, of course, three Cretans. Uh, two Noble Fighters, then I have some Mercenary Scutari in the back. Uh, Iberian Swords. Uh, Sa three Sam Knights, I believe. I'm almost positive. Maybe I only brought two. Uh, and then Gallic Warriors. So this is kind of a first for me, uh, besides the, um, the, uh, where are they? The, uh, Libyan Peltis, uh, that I bought a, f I brought a full-on mercenary army from Carthage. Usually I sprinkle in at least some Libyan infantry, but, uh, not this time. Not this time. Emperor Kandikatsu is bringing with him, we have Bactrinal Guard, uh, a bunch of Thorax Swords, um, and then what do we, uh, Syrians, uh, Persian Lights, and then, of course, we have some Thorax Pikes, uh, Eastern Spears, I think that was, that was it, he used the, yeah, Eastern Spears were just kind of cannon fodder to get the, the stuff up there, but, uh, I believe that is long and short of this, so, uh, and as we can see, Seleucid does have a Scorpion right up here. Um, plot twist though, I don't think, uh, that this vantage point, oh my god, what are you doing, camera? What are you doing? Uh, I don't think this vantage point with a scorpion is necessarily the best, uh, because the bolts travel in a straight line. Um, if you do play on this map, uh, and you're, you are defending, uh, highly recommend to bring Kush, Saba, or Nabatea. And you can set up an onager right up on this hill, uh, and then you can fire down. I, I have done that once before and just absolutely racked up the kills. I actually managed to, I think it was this building right here? I think it was this building. Yeah, it was this building. I remember they were uh, enemy uh, thorax pikes right here. A rogue shot came in, hit this building, collapsed literally killed more than half the Thorax Pike unit. It was the most glorious thing that I had ever seen. Uh, but anyway, let's get started. 49 minutes, 38 seconds on the clock. Let's get underway. Uh, we can see that there are some deployables here. They haven't really gone overboard, so not exactly, uh, you know, miffed about it. Uh, I don't mind when people use deployables. Um, it's a mechanic in the game. Uh, I do mind, however, though, when they go overboard with them or when they do stake, stake stacking. I don't even know if that's the correct term, but that's what I'm going to call it right now. That's when you take stakes and then you see how they have them facing this way. And then what you would do, uh, if you want to be a cheap bastard, 
is you take another set of stakes and set them that way so that the points of the stakes are facing in opposite directions and then that just makes it like all nigh on impossible uh, to p pass through that terrain. Let's we'll see. We got some Eastern Slingers here, some Seleucid. Uh, and yeah, now we're just moving on up, completely unawares of the fact that we have a Scorpion Tower firing at us, uh, let alone, you know, wall artillery as well. So, obviously, uh, you know, Eastern Spears from Emperor Kandikatsu, they're going to get pretty ravaged uh, pretty thoroughly. Megalic Warriors, they're not going to hold up too well either. I mean, look, they're, you know, it's... Uh, Megalic Warriors aren't the most heavily armored, and Scorpion Towers are just kind of insane. But anyway, uh, now I'm going to start to move up a wee bit uh, just to get my army a little bit closer. I'm going to have them walk instead of run because I don't need to get too close to right here. Uh... I think I remember constantly checking the gates just to make sure that there weren't anybody, that no one was about to sally out, or that they were thinking of sallying out. Um, I'm going to turn the music down just a wee bit. Just a smidge. I think right there will be right. And then the master, too. There we go. All right. Uh, back. Resume battle. So, Mastodon, using his wall artillery, really trying to get some shots off here, but, I mean, honestly, he would have been better off going after any of these units. Uh, Bactria is moving up his, I mean, Thorax Pikes, I don't know, I forget why he had them on here. I generally don't remember, <clears throat> but neither here nor there. Scorpion Tower still going at full blast. 118 men down, or down to 118 men. This guy, this unit has lost only one. Uh, and these two, this one's not doing great. The one in the middle is all right, though. So, and I don't think he's started to fire at all yet, either. Yeah, no firing. Uh, so, yeah, so we're just completely unaware. I think maybe around at this point, we had, I had realized, I was like, why the hell is this unit dropping so quickly? And then... Yeah, Scorpion Towers. Hmm, hmm, hmm. But Noble for Sam Knights are pretty close. Uh, moving up. What am I moving up? Moving up my Scutari. They're going to be the second ones in. <clears throat> Just moving up nice and close. Trying to uh, get ready to charge on in here. Again, Gallic Warriors not doing too hot, but we're not doing terrible either. Knocking down the wall. There she goes. This one's about to break too. Uh, now just waiting to knock down this wall as well. Although in hindsight, I maybe should have just charged in right away to start neutralizing this immediately. But of course, you don't know exactly what is waiting around the corner for you. Whether it's uh, going to be nothing or a whole ass army. Uh... But either way, I didn't want to rush them in right away just because I knew I was going to knock down this wall. I did start to move these two units in because I was going to push them this way uh, to have them assist Emperor Kandikatsu if he needed it. Wow, is he actually threading? Yeah, he is. He's threading that needle. Look at that. Did he destroy it? No. Okay. So now, wall's completely down. Nice, uh, large, open spaces. Going to start to charge my guys in. Immediately start to neutralize this because this is a huge thorn on my side. I don't need this type of headache for myself. Uh, so yeah, all these guys going to move in. Start to neutralize this. We're going to capture the tower. And now we can see what we're up against. We have Hoplites, Eastern Spearmen, Thorax Swords. Uh, but if we can also see that this arrow, or the Scorpion Tower rather, has a very large area of influence. And if Macedon and uh, Seleucid doesn't want to come and meet me, and I certainly don't want to come and meet them, because I just want to try and save my guys as much as I possibly can, uh, I'm going to let them sit back. So I'm going to move up this depleted unit of Gallic Warriors. I'm going to plop them down right in front of them. Uh, let them throw their jabbies. Meanwhile, as I capture the Scorpion Tower and it uh, turns into my favor, I'm going to let that also do some serious work as well. Let's see, we get some Hoplites, Thorax Swords, 
More hoplites. We have a silver, sh silver shield general from Seleucid. And then, oh, Thorax swords. You know that's Thorax swords. We all know what Macedon gets. Now I'm just going to move these guys up and let them pepper these hoplites and try and really uh, deplete their numbers. Meanwhile, over here, Eastern Spearmen not having a good day. They uh, routed away, not really surprising, because it's two Scorpion Towers firing at you. I mean, that's uh, some shitty shit right there. But now I have captured the Scorpion Tower. This baby is going to start to tear through Macedon and Seleucid's front lines, and I'm just going to sit back and let it do it. And herein lies the problem with Scorpion Towers. Sure, they're great. They're great for whittling down your enemies as they advance upon you. Uh, the problem is, is that when your enemies take those Scorpion Towers and you decide to sit within the Cone of Influence, as uh, is what we would call it. More Eastern Slingers from Seleucid firing into my Gallic Warriors. Not entirely worried about it, but I am going to pull them back just so that I don't lose any more men. And again, I'm just going to let the Scorpion Tower do its thing. I mean, why would I do anything else? Ball hunters or mercenary, mercenary, mercenary scutari, mercenary scutari over here, assisting in capturing these gates right here, and subsequently, of course, the two arrow towers as well. Meanwhile, they are throwing their jabbies at the eastern spearmen who are squared up. Um, Get running. Run now I'm gonna. Ooh, what did I do here? I think I tried to calm them up, perhaps, and sneak on by. Uh, but yeah, now that we have these gates and the arrow towers, we can just move in, uh, get our armies a little bit closer, ready to reinforce and protect or counterattack. Um, but Macedon Seleucid are really just taking a stand firm and wait approach. Meanwhile, their scorpion has left this hilltop, uh, back here somewhere, we have to assume, imagine. Eastern Spearmen still wavering. They're not sure if they want to break or if they want to stick around and party for a little while. So, now I'm just kind of hanging out, right? I am hanging out. I am letting the Arrow Tower do its thing. I mean, you know, like these guys are getting, they're out of ammo? They can't be out of ammo. There's no way that these guys are out of ammo. Maybe they are. Uh, but yeah, these guys are just gonna get lit up. Gallic warriors moved over here. How come I can't? I'm not, am I really not close enough to see these guys? That's funny. But now that we've moved forward, now the arrow to or scorpion tower, rather, I keep forgetting that that is what it is, can fire at anything. Meanwhile, back over here, we have engaged with the militia hoplites and the eastern spearmen. The one unit of eastern spearmen got absolutely melted. Over here, we have some archers. Unfortunately for you, bud, they don't have the range to actually reach. Uh, which actually I find to be a bit of a problem in Rome 2. Um, I think elevation <coughs> should give a bonus to range. Uh, because even though their range is 125, I mean, hypothetically, because they're they're up higher, they, they should be able to get a... a a better shot off, you know? So, Eastern Spears about to route. As soon as they start to fall back, I immediately push as quickly as I can, and then whoop, right in the back of these hoplites to free up my other Skatara unit, and then we can move forward at a leisurely pace. Meanwhile, over here, still just letting the Scorpion Tower do its thing. I, I, I'm in no rush to lose men, and again, they made the blunder of picking the extra large settlement. Whether they did that without knowing that it would have Scorpion Towers, or if they did it thinking that Scorpion Towers would assist them in being able to thwart us off, doesn't matter. Mastodon finally realizing what is going on, charges forward his severely depleted unit of hoplites uh, into the squared up Eastern Spearmen. I move forward my Gallic Warriors, and then these hoplites are gonna be gone real quick. Quick and easy. Just like a microwave dinner. So, Mercenaries Guitar just kind of sitting here. I mean, over here, we're just kind of holding off, waiting, not really doing anything. I don't want to move forward necessarily. Um, 
and I want to try and work on one side more than the other. I managed to find a little bit of a gap. Uh, not really. I just kind of charged everyone in on these hoplites because I wanted them to break as quickly as possible. And now rushing forward to fill uh, this. Well, not, what would you call this a square? Well, we'll call it Times Square because it's in the shape of a triangle. Rushing forward to fill up Times Square. I'm going to set up a nice little perimeter like this uh, to hold off both sections of people. People? Well, you know what I mean. So, Slinger's here. Slinging. I don't think he took auto fire off. So they're just firing at whatever. Uh, right into the Gallic Warriors. Shield arm, though, so I won't take as much damage. These guys are going to move forward. I believe, actually, if I remember correctly, I set up something kind of like this. Quite possibly, so that I could get some good jabby throws off of the top light unit. Really kind of chip away at them. Uh, and then maybe I'll be able to slip on by and get these Eastern Slingers over there. Meanwhile, Bactria has moved forward, getting ready to volley in with his jabbies against Macedon, who has taken some losses because of... That's right, Scorpion Towers. So, Gallic Warriors have moved up. These Gallic Warriors are also moving up. Then it's try and block off this over here so that they don't get any ideas and try and charge into us. Not that I think they actually have the mental capacity to do that. Uh, and there we go. Javi's away. 140 mine. 140 mime? 140 mine men mound. 100. <laughs> Sally sells, she sells by the seashore. 140 mime. Jesus Christ, 149 men left. Shit. Holy crap. All right. I did it. I word. I did word. I did good word. Anyway, Skutari moving forward, getting ready. Persian light archers volleying into these thorax swords. Thorax swords v thorax swords. Full unit pretty much against a depleted one, they're gonna take a beating. Meanwhile, these Eastern Slingers are also gonna get melted by the Persian lights as they try to retreat. Mercenary Gallic Warriors are routing here. They should hopefully come back though if they get out of the way soon, uh, quick enough. Uh, there is a 60, this is a 60 man unit. So if I'm lucky, they come back and then I can use that unit to find gaps, slip them on by. Uh, I mean, this right here, that might be a little bit of a gap that I could possibly use in my favor. Uh, yep, there they go. They'll come back soon, though. Here now I've uh, mounted some Gallic Warriors up the wall. It's going to bring them around so I could capture this Scorpion Tower as well and then have it also start to fire into the Thorax Pikes, the Thorax Swords, the Eastern Slingers. And it's just really an in an effort to get them to pull back more. To force them to pull away uh, so that I could chase after them. Here we go, the 61 man unit. Uh, well, that's the 60 man unit. But the 60 man unit's getting columned up. I'm gonna try and slip them on by, but I don't think I actually can make that happen. They are in square formation. I managed to get some of them a little bit in there. And now they are taking on the Eastern Spearmen two units. And these Eastern Spearmen are gonna not do too great. Thorax Swords here still holding on pretty well. Shatari still moving forward, or Gallic Warriors rather. They are of course taking losses, but in the long run, it's gonna be better off. All we gotta do is neutralize this thing. I mean, by the time that we neutralize it, they probably will be down quite a bit, but still. Slingers have been sent forward, 70 kills, so they are out of ammo. Again, I don't think he took auto fire off, so they were just firing at everything and anything. Cretans moving forward for myself. Uh, I'm gonna try and find something to fire at. What? I don't know. Uh, possibly into the side of... No, we're, what are we firing at here? Oh, we're going after the general. Yes, Commander. 
Meanwhile, these hoplites not having a good time against some Sam Knights. Can't really blame them. And there we go. Neutralized and being captured. Down to 78 men. And honestly, in my mind, worth the worth the cost. So now these pikes are going to get fired at. The slingers are going to get fired at. The thorax swords are going to get fired at. And I also have a unit here that I can use to harass Seleucid's three units here. Or I could just bring them way back around and have them hang out and wait. I don't remember what I do here, though. Oh, that's right. Seleucid foolishly moves up his pikes uh, to, deal, to try and deal with me. But in the process, he's going to take a severe beating from this uh, scorpion tower. Meanwhile, over here, Seleucid and Mastodon doing what they can to try and hold us back. Thorax swords are losing. Thurio spears are in there. 35 kills so far, but I mean, unless they're in square, they're not going to do too hot. And then, of course, I have my Cretans over here firing right into the side of these units. So we're getting some good angles there while holding off the Eastern Spearmen and Thorax Swords with my Gallic Warriors. They aren't doing too hot, but I have Thorax Swords here to back me up when the time is needed. So once again, Pikes just sitting here taking a beat. And sure, they're going to neutralize this. That's fine. But uh, I could sit here all day. They have Javelins. They're going to jab you down into these Pikes. And then I don't know what possessed him. Yeah, but he was about to send his Pikes right up on here, which would not have worked out well in his favor in one bit. There we go. Rex Swords holding on, but not doing too hot. And then over here, too, these guys are going to be falling pretty quickly. More Thorio Spears have been pushed forward. Silver Shield Swords uh, throwing their javies. They're doing what they can. And then here is the blunder. Seleucid set his pikes up onto the walls, which means... They don't have their pikes to use on the walls. Now, my Gallic Warriors are losing. That is because the Slingers are firing at them. But, hey, that's okay. His pikes are going to lose men. Pulling back my Gallic Warriors. They'll probably start to rout. That's okay. They might even break. That's okay. 31 minutes, 20 seconds left in this one, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, do all that cool YouTube stuff. Helps out the channel, and of course, I appreciate it as well. And don't forget to check the links in the description below for my Twitter, Twitch, and Discord. Eastern Spearmen here still routing or wavering. They don't know what they want to do. But hey, maybe they had a rough week, you know? Ooh, that's right. I charged my Gallic Warriors back in so they would stop routing. Back against the Thorax Pikes. Uh... You know, just in an effort to try and get rid of some more guys. He's going to send up his Thorax Swords, perhaps. Perhaps. Uh, but the Pikes took a bit of a beating, down to 112 men. Cretans still firing. Up to 94 kills. And now uh, pulling out the Skitari to switch out. Because they are depleted. Battle Rhythm has been popped in the Storio Spear, but if you really want them to hold on, what do we have to do? Put them in square, that's right. That's right. So, what do I still have? I still have some Iberian Swordsmen, which have lots and lots of projectiles. I still have two Noble Fighters. I have my General. And I still have a Cretan and a Libyan Peltist. Balance of Power is slightly in our favor. Cretans still going at it. Cretans over here up to 39 kills. They are firing at the pikes, naturally. These guys, I don't want to have any sort of numbers in their favor. Meanwhile, over here, these Gallic Warriors still managing to hold on against uh, these Thorax Swords, but... I mean, I guess this would kind of be in a, a smaller unit's favor, right? Because you don't have all of Thorax Swords. 
I think if he was smart, what he would do is he would send his Thorax swords this way down the wall so he could get more men up on the wall, and then he could charge them back so that they'd wrap around the gatehouse here, or the, the tower, rather. But there they go. He's going to start to recapture that tower. That's fine. Archers still firing into these Thorax pikes. Only six kills. They don't even have their pikes out. I mean, honestly, they, they should be way back here, but what are you going to do? Thorax pikes deployed over here as well. They are now also getting focused down by my Cretans. Rapid reload has been popped, so I'm just trying to get these guys out of here as quickly as humanly possible uh, before they do too much damage against myself or my ally. Archers have finally moved forward. Sorry for the pause, just had a one hell of a sneeze. Archers from Massalon have finally moved forward. They're gonna start to fire in. Uh, what are they firing at? <clears throat> firing right in here, most likely at the. Um, is he firing at the archers? He is firing at the archers. Okay, so he's firing at something good then, <clears throat> at least. So, Pikes losing decisively, even though they are in combat. There's 71 of them, but they are also getting focused down, and they are dealing with some Skatari. Skatari, as we know, is a pretty serious unit to handle. <clears throat> so, ain't looking good for them, Chief. Meanwhile, I do have my Iberian Swordsman up here ready to toss their jabbies. At whatever I asked them to. Moving around some more Iberian swords. Gonna push them up over this way. Uh, probably try and deal with the Thorax Pikes. They are doing better over here against us, but they are still getting focused down heavily by my archers. This thing up here still no kills. Noble fighters have been moved in. So I put my noble fighters up on the wall here again to take this tower back. Honestly, uh, the, not that it was a, a bad move, but it, it was a waste because they take a, a beating, obviously, from the Scorpion Tower. Um, so this is, I should not have done this. I should have kept them both down here and just waited. But what are you going to do? Cretans are now retreating. 229 kills, though. I'm pretty sure that they are out of ammo at this point. Yeah, they are. Uh, they managed to come back. And then I think I just send them in to go fight someone. So. Focusing down the Eastern Slingers. I want to get them out of there. They have 97 kills. Looks like I probably didn't realize that they were out of ammo. So, wasted some ammo. Focusing them down. Pikes are still losing. Well, not so much anymore, actually. And now I'm firing at the... Oh, no, I'm still going after the Slingers. Well, here we go. 121 guys. He's going to move his Thorax swords over to deal with these guys. I think I come down off the tower. Uh, but again, I, this is, you know, they're already down to 110 men, 106. So this was a costly, not even a win. It was just costly, not, even, not a mistake. It was just a costly decision, one that I should not have made. Berian swords firing right into the lines here, going after these. Thorax Swords from Seleucid, and of course the Thorax Swords from Mathenon. Brother fighting brother. <laughs> Thorax Swords, are, yeah, it's cousins and brothers and fathers and sons. The, the horror, the horror of war. Uh, but anyway, Thorax Swords have been moved over to deal with these guys, and it looks like maybe he realized that it was not the greatest of ideas. And then he changes his mind. 
decides to go and take them on. 143 man unit against 93 uh, noble fighters. They probably could go his way. We'll have to wait and see though. But meanwhile, now we have another unit of Thorax Swords that we have to deal with. I will give them this. They did a very good job of holding us up. Uh, and now you can see that they are falling back. But I do not think that they have much of anything of left. Uh, or nothing, rather, of substance, perhaps. So they are going to be up against the ropes. Uh, and as we can see, I mean, Bactri still has... His two pikes ready to go, and several Thorax, fresh units of Thorax swords. Uh, we also have this wavering unit of Eastern Spearmen who still have yet to decide what it is that they want to do. So, Cretans firing into the Thorax swordsman here. At this point, I'm just trying to break this line so that we have a clear avenue to move forward. And a little bit of the same is going on over here as well. Meanwhile, over here, Thorax Swords winning decisively against my... Never mind, I lied. What's going on here? Did I pull through? I might have done that. Something happened here. I might have pulled through by accident. But we are winning against the Thorax Swords. Whether or not it will continue to be that way, I'm not sure. We'll just have to wait and see. So, over here, we have a nice clear avenue. We're going to start to push forward. Capturing. I think we captured this. I'm not sure, though. Hoplites have broken. These Thorax swords still holding on. Uh, I have my general up here. I'm almost positive that I noticed this. Yes, I did, because I sent in my, whether well, it was noble fighters or my archers to get rid of all these stakes so that I could have, yep, there we go, my general go. Same over here. No, he's just going through so he can get behind these guys and deal with them. Meanwhile, back over here. Still winning slightly, but you can see that it's starting to slowly slip into their favor. Losing slightly, winning slightly. It's only a matter of time before it just says, in combat. Uh, and then it changes. Unless he can get over here in time and help me out. But I'm almost positive that he comes and charges right into the behind of these Thorax Swordsmen. Capture point location has been caught. Uh, which means we are buffed. Which means morale is better, which means these Eastern Spearmen have decided to stick it out. Huzzah, boys. Huzzah. So, combat even. It is starting to change. Although we are really uh, chipping away at the Thorax Sword unit, making them pay for every inch. But there we go. Starting to win slightly, and uh, I imagine that that is going to go their way relatively soon unless I get uh, of course I can get over there and, and do something about it but now we have an uphill battle L literally <laughs> literally we have an uphill battle we're about to break this thorax unit right here hopefully relatively quickly uh, my Cretans over here have 92 kills. If I had been smart, I would have had them fire into the back of these Thorax Swords. Just popped Headhunt. Maybe should have done that earlier. What are you going to do? Combat's now even. And yeah, back to winning slightly. We're losing slightly. It's going to be, I, I think, a, a little bit of back and forth for a little bit. So I, I don't remember who wins here, but we'll, we'll see. We'll try and pay attention. Gog Warrior starting to waver a wee bit. They are exhausted, it's no surprise. And yeah, we got a bunch of Iberian swords and uh, some Sam Knights in here, ready to go. Greetings getting sent up. This is uh, basically like an expeditionary force. I want to get these guys up here on the hill, see what's going on. They have no more ammo left. So I just want them 
to come up here. I know they're going to route immediately, but I need to know what I'm going to be running into over here. Uh, meanwhile, my general is moving right on over here. I think he's going to come over here and try and buff. Yes, I do have yeah, second wind. So I think he's going to try and buff the noble fighters. Uh, hopefully give them a little bit of an edge to deal with these thorax swords because it's going back and forth there you go fresh these guys are exhausted or tired rather noble fighters are now fresh because of the buff second wind and battle rhythm has been popped and now we're starting to see a little bit of a change skatari over here iberian swords coming on over they're going to help out i don't think i have them jabby at least i hope i don't uh, and they're going to help get rid of those guys. Meanwhile, over here, these Thorax Swords still holding on for dear life. Very surprising. And here we are. You can see, what do we have? Some Thorax Swords. We have the unit of Archers. Slingers up here. Uh, and then we did see a couple units over here as well. And there you have it. Iberian Swords going up. Helping to get rid of these Thorax Swordsmen. And once that's over, we're going to be coming down off the walls and getting ready for the initial push. <laughs> Eastern Spearmen deciding that they're actually having a terrible day because they just realized that they're going to have to charge up a hill uh, and possibly get annihilated. So now they're not sure. They're like, hey, we don't know if we want to do this. So uh, we're undecided if we're going to stick around. We'll follow orders up to a certain point, uh, and if we don't want to be here anymore, we're just going to break. So, <laughs> I always find it hilarious when there's when you have like a unit that's like severely depleted, and like it happens early on in the match, and then just for the rest of the entire game, they're wavering, and it's like, are you going to leave or are you going to stay? Like, make up your mind. Oh uh, man, but yeah, so here we go. I'm going to take now the majority of my forces, what I have left, and we're gonna go for a walk. A very long, long walk. We're gonna go whoop, bloop. It's like that. I think it'll go bloop like that too. And as you can see, they are not happy. They are taking fire from the scorpion. Oh probably from these these guys right here one or the other boom but I mean that's what their purpose is here is to just soak up some ammo get Mastodon to use some of his his, his jabbies on these guys uh, so that's less projectiles coming at our face Noble fighters have made their way down. Down the 49 guys, but hey, you know what? Still a dangerous unit. Still a dangerous unit. Oh, oh boy. Damn knights hanging out. Noble fighters moving around. Gallic warriors. Scurrying, scurrying around in anticipation of the fight to come. More Eastern Spearmen getting set up. Again, just to waste ammo. You never expect Eastern Spearmen to, to do well against the Wax Swords, right? You shouldn't, because they're not going to. Eastern Spearmen, along with Hillmen, Militia Hoplites, they're all trash, and they're all arrow fodder projectile fodder. That's what they are. That's what they're there for. Macedon setting up a unit of his archers only to get actually slaughtered by the Eastern Spearmen. This is going to embolden them, make them feel better, make them feel like that they can take on the world. And then they'll move forward and eat a bunch of javelins uh, to the face from these Thorax swords. Meanwhile, we can see we got some Thorax pikes from Macedon waiting, waiting. Shield bearer general as well. That's a scary sight to see. Now I'm going to take these mercenary Gallic warriors, this tiny little 41 man unit, and guess what? I'm going to find a gap. I'm going to find a gap, and I'm going to exploit it. Get 
right? So as all of my units move this way, Eastern Spearmen move forward to absorb some more jabbies. And now I am just clicking away. So these guys hug this wall right here, this invisible wall that's right there. Because the last thing that I want is somebody drifting off and getting engaged with these Thorax Swords. Because that's going to be bad news bears. So, what am I going to do? I'm going to have them charge into the Thorax Pike because they don't have their pikes out. So they'll be able to do a little bit of damage against the pikemen at initially, at first. Uh, but I think that just the sheer fact that the Thorax Pikes have the numbers, they will eventually uh, defeat the Gallic Warriors. Especially since they're tired, they're only steady, uh, they're a little unhappy because casualties haven't been sustained. But uh, yeah, I mean, these guys are already down three men. I don't think I've lost anybody yet. I think I lost one. Oh, all right, two. There you go. In pipe formation. I'm gonna pull these guys back. Then we're gonna charge right into the rear of the thorax swords if I can manage to get them there without them routing uh, completely. Scorpion is now firing, so that it is a little bit scary. <coughs> but what is the scorpion firing into? Eastern spheres. So, not really that big of a deal. Cretans from Macedon firing in on the Assyrians over here, along with some of the Thorax swords, trying to get them out of here. Don't really blame them. But my Cretans over here now, I believe. Yeah, they're gonna just come right around. Oh, that's right, I set them up right here because they end up having the range to actually uh, get to these guys. They're actually, they're taking fire too. For who I'm not sure, but they are taking fire. I feel like my, my general ends up running into stakes by accident. I could be wrong though. I could be 100% wrong. So, factory is moving up, slowly but surely. Persian Light's just kind of hanging out here. It seems like he's trying to debate either Macedon or Seleucid into firing at him. Pulling back, Eastern Spearmen still wavering. They're clearly out of uh, ammunition. I mean, hey, I, you know, might have been worth trying to sneak them on by and then maybe even into the rear. That might have caused Lucid to fire into the rear of these units right here. So, still moving. Cretans over here. Yeah, I, I guess I didn't have the, the range on them. I thought I did. General is now moving as well to back up my infantry units here. And then I think we capture this too, just to add an additional blow to their morale. But this is it. This is all that they really have left. They don't have much left. I think the Silver Shield Sword General is somewhere. Where though, I'm not sure. He's definitely just hiding out. And uh, Bactria is now loosing his jabbies from his Thorax Swords. Trying to just, you know, whittle down this front line, make them break a little bit quicker so we can push on through. Meanwhile, you know, th this is just, it's a holding action. That's all he's doing. It's just making sure that Macedon is in check so that when I get over here, I have uh, pretty much carte blanche to do what, what I, whatever I want. Forward! General's moving forward, he's gonna start to neutralize this, take away their uh, morale buff. We can see what do we got here, some Thurio Spears. Not exactly worried about them. Uh, and meanwhile, just everyone is rushing over here as quickly as I possibly can get them here. Libyan Peltis do not have, I believe, they only have five kills. That might have just been somebody walking into them. Gatehouse is firing at my men, but I don't have time to worry about that. 
Start to see some more Thurio Spears as well. Yeah! We Mercenary Noble Fire these. Unit have been sent up. I sent them up over here because they're a depleted unit, right? I think that was the only one that's over here. Yeah. So I sent him over here because he's a small depleted unit. And what I want is just him to cause as much damage as possible uh, to assist. Because, you know, even though it's, what, 47 men left now, now it's 47 men. Uh, it's still a very scary unit. Uh, they hit hard. They're unapologetic. And they'll just wreck anything. Managed to slip some Thorax Swords by and the Eastern Spearmen. And then, yep, I'm going to charge right into the back of these Thorax Swords. Koreans from... Mastodon moving over. They're going to get some shots off on these Thorax Swords here. I don't think he necessarily needed, I would assume at least, but I don't think he necessarily needed to pull them back. They were a shield arm. Uh, oh, never mind. All right, now it's like full on facing, so he is going to be able to tank more missile damage that way. And look at this. A 40-man unit taking on it. Well, 30, never mind. <laughs> a 31-man unit. So, yeah, obviously that is going to happen. But now, Factory is going to push because this unit is breaking. I'm going to start to divide my forces a little bit so I can deal with these guys. He has his uh, Thurio Spears in the square formation. I do not believe... Oh, no, they do. Okay, so they can throw. But the problem here now is, is that you just have this back half Right, you just have this half firing their javelins at you. So I'm gonna push forward my Sam Knights, uh, and I'm gonna engage these guys, and I'm gonna take them out pretty quickly. I think I pull this unit back, column him up, and then slip him on by, or I slip somebody by. Amirian Sword's gonna take on these guys here. They are down to 98 men. Uh, same here, Skitari, they're gonna slip on by, wrap around, deal with these guys. Meanwhile, I'm charging my general forward, to try and get into this, ooh, look, it's just juicy, soft target here uh, to try and do some damage to their uh, their archers, their ranged units. Uh, I think the Silver Shield General is actually up there. He is He's hidden in the trees. So now I'm going to have to do some fancy footwork, so to speak, to try and deal with this problem. I think I might even just YOLO my general just to try and silence all of this so that we don't have anything actually uh, harassing us. Cretans here are still firing what they are firing at. I'm not entirely sure. Let's take a look. They are firing at these Thorax Swords. Not necessarily what I would be firing at. I'm sure you probably could get a decent angle on the back screen roll guard. I might personally go after that. General's bodyguard is getting shot at. I'm going to pull back because I just can't afford it. You know? Can't afford it. 169 kills for the Scorpion. Looks like he actually might be out of ammo. Uh, but these guys still have ammo. Yeah, my general's getting fucked. Getting so fucked. Bactrian uh, shield, or Bactrian, uh, Macedonian shield bearers moving forward to try and deal with these guys. Thurio spears breaking some Iberian swords, and they have awesome melee defense. What do I tell you guys, right? All the time, and I, I know you guys listen. But uh, square, square formation, always put them in square. Square is best. Gonna charge right into these Eastern Slingers here because they are firing into all this mess and uh, I'm not gonna tango with the Silver Shield General and these guys start to break immediately. Uh, three of Spears here definitely were giving me a little bit of a problem. They weren't breaking as quickly as I would have liked them to because they weren't square. So I said, hey, uh, I'm almost positive that I could just column up my units and slip right on by. So that is exactly what I did. I just, dude is just leaving uh, an, an alleyway completely open. So I said, yeah, sure, I'll uh, I'll take that. I'll take that. Units over here have been broken and routed. That's perfectly fine because I am slipping on by. Now I will be able to charge into the rear of these thorax pikes. We're gonna be able to get rid of them fairly quickly. My general is dead now, unfortunately, but that's okay because we basically have this in the bag. Greetings moving forward, 118 kills, they are out of ammo. 
going to chase after them, not realizing, but I think I actually did end up realizing in the long run that they were out of ammo, charging into the back of the pikes. So these guys are going to be gone in a matter of no time. Noble fighters dispatching the Thorio spears. I have my Libyan Peltus firing at the Thorio snow, firing at the shield general. And then uh, Iberian swords also taking them on. 89 kills so far. They're going to lose pretty quickly, but that's okay. Again, have my Peltus. They're firing eight kills so far. They got to have more ammo than that, right? Yeah. Firing again, still at these shield bears. Gonna try and get rid of them as quickly as possibly can. Uh, these guys are also out of ammo, so now they're just here to try and tie them up. Not really let them go. Cretans here are firing right into the backs of these pikes. Actually, the back, the silver shield sword, <laughs> silver shield, silver shield sword general. Please, uh, someone buy me hooked on phonics. Will this actually will go through that? Here we go. Shots out. Mm. Not. They are. They're hitting this, aren't they? Let's uh, take a look. Yeah. So I fucked up there. Keep that in mind, folks. Keep that in mind that if you are over here and you're trying to fire over the aqueduct, you ain't gonna do it. Libyan Pelt is falling back, so are my Cretans who have no ammo. Uh, I'm just trying to save what troops I have left. It is imperative that we try and get rid of these pikes as quickly as we possibly can. Iberian Sword's just firing right into the back, but he's going to bring his Cretans over to try and silence them. Uh, they are out. 159 kills. Love to see it. Uh, they get one more jabby off, managing to actually start to rout the Thorax pikes. Silver Shield General is losing decisively. Back to Royal Guard is going to come in for a nice charge against the Thorax Pikes. Iberian Swords again just volleying away into the backs of the Silver Shield Swords and uh, for collateral damage the Pikes as well. I'm going to turn my Mercenary Noble Fighters right around to deal with these guys. Uh, and then I'm going to charge forward my Cretans who have no ammo left into the shield bearers again just to hold them up so they don't get too much closer. I do believe that the yep, uh, Peltis still have plenty of ammo left so they're going to continue to fire uh, right into the shield uh, bearer general. Honestly, I probably should have went after the um, Thurio Spears, but neither here nor there. Now we're starting to get some routing here. Macedonian general has yet to route. Uh, Seleucid General is dead, no longer exists. I'm going to start to cap this just, I think I start to cap this. I should start to cap this. Uh, but we still have pikes. I mean, e even if this line loses, which it won't, uh, we still have pikes. So, you know, <laughs> they're fucked. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this, this shield bearer general, he's going to last a while. I mean, it's a tough unit, but he doesn't have them in hoplite wall. If he had them, any part, no, if he had them in hoplite wall, they would be so much more scarier because that melee defense would pop right up. I mean, 115 armor and then I think melee defense bumps up to like 80 something perhaps. It's either 70 or 80. I forget what, but still that's scary. One of my favorite units in the game, Shield Bears. Now it's time to deal with Masana. Left alone. 20 seconds left. I forget if he actually concedes or if he fights to the last. I'm not sure. Ugh, all right. So, here we go. Myself with 2,592 kills, uh, 68 for my general, 44 for the Libyan Peltis, 232, 126, and 16 for the Cretans, 42, 116, 12, and 32 for the Dog Warriors, 82, 93, 152, and 236, holy shit, for the Iberian Swords, 150 and 297 for the Noble Fighters, 
147 and 133 for the Sam Knights, uh, 93, 214, and 307 for the Scutari. Emperor Candy Katsu getting 1,566 kills, 69. <laughs> nice. For the Bacterian Royal Guard General, uh, 30, 95, 166 for the Syrians, 126 for the Persian Lights, 0, 86, 11, and 0 for the Eastern Spears. Not surprising. 37 and 9 for the Pikes. Uh, Thorax Swords, 29, 115, 76, 107, 127, 108, uh, 185, 46, and 144. Uh, Jonathan the Ice Cream Man, 1,673 kills. 157 for his Shield Bearer General, so nice there. 183 for his Archers, also well done. 164, 124, and 213 for his Cretans, very well done. Uh, 39, 9, and 69, nice for his Hoplites. 5 for the Militia Hoplites. 68, 159 for the Pikes. And then his Thorax Swords, 131, 91, 68, 141, and 52. And then Kinkle Cook getting 1,454 kills. 112 for his General, 169. For the Greek Scorpion, 66, 97, 30, and 119 for the Eastern Slingers. 0, 0, and 6 for the Eastern Spears. 70 and 97 for the Thorax Pikes. Thorax Swords, 68, 85, 161, and 95. And then the Thorio Spears getting 63, 60, 46, and 110. Well, there you go. I'm still at 236, though, for an Iberian... Mercenary Iberian Sword, that, that's pretty good, right? I would say so. He probably got lucky and was fighting, like, stupid shit, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but that's going to be it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, I did. Uh, it's always nice to revisit your own battles and go over them and try and uh, figure out why you did things the way you did them and hopefully pick up on mistakes that you made so you can polish up and do better for the next time that you play. So I would always encourage everyone to watch their own replays uh, and try and learn from your mistakes um, and also learn from your opponents too, you know. They might, they of course also are, have their own play style and strategy and shit and if you can manage to pick up something cool, if they're, you know, something cool that they did or a good tactic, Put that in your Rome 2, uh, Total War, Rome 2 trunk, trunk of tricks. Is that what I was calling it? Rome 2 trunk of tricks? Yeah. Um, so, but anyway, that's it for me today. Have a great day, morning, evening, afternoon, night, whatever time of day it is, wherever you are. Just have a good one. Peace out, guys.